at least I try my level best. So my nurses must not tire it. my doctors must not tire it. Civil servants, I'm counting on you. Civil servant, I'm counting on you. Unless you are a civil servant cadre, but if you are not a cadre, I'm sure you know that you need a voice. You need somebody that can speak for you. And when I'm in that position as mayor, I will be mayor, but at the same time, I will be a president of an opposition political party. So I will be able to speak for you. Whether PF is power, whether UPND is power, you will have a voice. Vote for me. I know my HH will vote for me. Because I don't think you know, my HH knows even me, eh, the mayor who is contesting party by UPND. I don't think he knows. Eh? But me, I'm there by, by, by HH. I mean, we have been together. Timashushanya, Sochabe, what, 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 what. But at least we know each other. And I appreciate one thing eh, with by, by, by HH. At least Tizivana. Tizivana, there is no pretense. And this, unlike this side, Kuri Balungu, I think there was pretense. I thought Balungu loves me. Unfortunately, I don't think the man loves me. So HH, Tizivana, stick on Dana. He just came out and expressed himself. I think that was better than somebody who is laughing with you, smiling at you, but later on puts you myself eight days. I think he, that is not the way it should be. Anyway, I am, I am pleading with you, vote for me. Vote for me as mayor, including Vahechechi, Vachan. Eh, vote for me as mayor. You all need me at one point or the other. Let me go to the other issue. Let me go to the other issue. Um, the issue of um, the issue of uh, Bakambwili. Bakambwili today he was acquitted of um, the case of contempt and I want to put things in perspective here Bakambwili was acquitted on a case of contempt it's not forgery it's not forgery it's contempt and what happened was when the case of forgery was going on after he testified on that very day Bakambwili went to Pakra and he changed you know, the records there. Change the records there. In other words, just correcting them. Me, I was saying, this is wrong. The NRC here is wrong. The name is wrong. Soon after he testified, Wakambiri went to Pakra and changed those details to correct them. In my view, that was tempering with evidence. Because soon after my testimony, soon after my testimony, the following day, if somebody went there to check the records, they would find that what I testified was not the same. It would have, they would have found the correct uh, information. In my view, that was the tempering with evidence. And I complained, I complained, um, you know, uh, I complained before the court that this is contempt. That is the case that he, he was acquitted on. I haven't, I was not in court. I don't know the details of the judgment, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, to, 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 to quarrel with the court. I'm not going to quarrel with the court. I respect the judiciary. I respect the independence of the, of the, of the judiciary. So I will not quarrel with them. Judges make their judgments according to their wisdom or lack of it and it is not good especially for a person like me who is aspiring for public office to start quarreling with uh, uh, the magistrates um, in public i don't think he, uh, that is good that is not a, a good statesmanship you know you don't do that so i will accept the judgment as it as it is I will accept the judgment as it is. But if you ask me, what do I think? I still, in my view, I think Vakambuidi was tempering with evidence. That is what I think. However, that is just a contempt case. The main case 
the main case of forgery Vakambwiri was uh, convicted was convicted and he appealed to the high court the case is in the high court, in the, is in the high court from my point of view the evidence is overwhelming the evidence is overwhelming but again i wait the i wait for the outcome of uh, you know the high court my only concern my only concern if uh, i can be allowed to say this is that you see when people are aligned to patriotic front to the ruling party it becomes very difficult for officers to uh, execute their jobs very well it's very difficult it's really difficult it's very very difficult this is why we have seen that i mean almost all the cases that have gone into court relating to those who are in the ruling party have not gone anywhere uh, some of them they have been discontinued on uh, on um, uh, uh, non prosecutor some of them have been acquitted it's difficult to deal with people that are part of pf and the problem is very simple the problem is, is the problem is, is straightforward the problem is that president edgar lungu has not emphasized fighting corruption and this is why pf pf has become you know the hiding nest for the corrupt pf has become the hiding you know nest for the corrupt there is no fighting of corruption president galungu pays lip service in terms of fighting corruption and this is not speaking out of emotions we all know how many times has president galungu spoken about fighting corruption and yet when it comes to corruption he says no i am looking for evidence i'm waiting for evidence i can't suspend this one i can't fire this one the only people that have been fired relating to corruption it is because the political relationship with president edgar lungu is not good when vakambwiri was fired it was not because of corruption it is because the political relationship between president edgar lungu and Wakambuiri at that point was not good. That's why he was fired. That's why he was fired. And of course, I mean, he went and I took, I took advantage, took the cases to court. He is convicted. Some of them he was found with a case to answer. Okay? He was found with a case to answer. The other one he was convicted. And there are other cases. There are other cases where he was found with a case to answer. So Wakambuiri is still very much in court relating to cases of corruption. I'm actually disappointed with the media, the way they are covering it, including ZNBC, covering Wakambuiri as if, you know, all the cases are gone. No, Wakambuiri is still a convict. Wakambuiri is still a convict. And Wakambuiri is still in court. He's still in court. Eh? They are even reporting that Vakambuiri has forgiven Tayari. Forgive me for what? Forgive me for what? Hmm? Forgive me for what? Me, I will die for the truth. I will die for the truth. I will, I, I, will, I will not retract the truth. I will not do that. I will not do that. And as far as I'm concerned, Vakambuiri is corrupt. Vakambiri is corrupt. I don't mind the relationship that they have with the PF. I know the PF will try to clean Vakambiri up. But it still stands that Vakambiri is a convict. He forged the documents. Vakambiri, he engaged in a lot of other issues. Let me not talk too much about that. The cases are still in court. So let me leave it there. But I know PF will try, like today, ZNBC was reporting that case, you know, as if Vakambuiri has been acquitted of everything. No, Vakambuiri is still a convict, Vakambuiri is still in court. This is, what, this is where we are. The issue where he has been acquitted is a contempt case. That's where he has been acquitted. That's where he has been acquitted. But the problem that we have, it's PF 
PF trying to protect people who are corrupt. This is where we have a problem. And President Ed Galungu bears responsibility because he's on top there. If the leader says no, zero tolerance to corruption, you would really see things happening. But President Ed Galungu, nothing. Vakawanshi, hmm? Vakawanshi, she was, she was fired because of the international pressure. The international pressure. And she's in court pending judgment. And the case in that, in that case is that, no, she gave the contracts, you know, uh, without following procedures to, to, to Zampost. Zampost, which is government. Eh? How many of these companies that are getting business out from government privately, private companies are getting without following a, a, a proper procedures or staging you know the procedures to make them look like everything is alright how many have we seen any of those ministers you know in, uh, in court eh? we, we, I mean there, there are a number of them there are a number of cases that we know a number of cases that we know so I don't blame the judiciary, I don't blame the investigative wings, I blame the government, I blame the PF government, I blame President Ed Galungu. Because if President Ed Galungu was really giving them the support as he usually claims that he will give support, I mean, I'm sure we would have seen a lot of convictions. But really fighting corruption in terms of the PF, it's just a lip service. It's lip service. It's lip service. I can mention a number of I can a number of issues, a number of contracts here, a number of companies. I can mention them, but at the end of the day, I mean, if I'm sued, you know, I'll stand alone because you people you are just good at saying we are with you, we are with you. When I get in trouble, you all disappear, you all keep quiet. When you, mini meal in my house finishes, no one says, "Hey, here is a mini meal." Eh? And that's how we get compromised. That's how we get compromised. Because at sometimes it's not easy. I've seen a lot of you. Ah, no, you have no principle. Ah, you are what, 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 what? what? <laughs> yeah. You don't know life. You don't know life. If you know life, if you know life, you would not even laugh at those ladies who are standing on the streets right now as I'm talking. There are ladies standing on the streets right now selling themselves life is not easy and sometimes we are faced with very difficult circumstances but uh, a lot of people don't bring out these things don't speak openly like i do me i speak openly i'm transparent and that's why you are able to say no uh, others they pretend me i don't pretend i speak facts as they are Vakambwiri is still in, in court. Vakambwiri is still a convict. He's still a convict. The issue of saying forgiving Tayari, forgiving Tayari, there is nothing like forgiving Tayari here. It's Vakambwiri who should be asking for forgiveness from the Zambian people. It's him who should be asking, not me. He should be asking forgiveness from the Zambian people. What did he tell the Zambian people about Ed Galungu? What did he say? He said so many things about Ed Galungu. He said Ed Galungu has a number of feeding stations, including that feeding station which is next to the to the to the to the cemetery. Yeah. Ed Galungu is building everywhere. Yeah. He's building. There are so many buildings that Ed Galungu is doing. Yeah. He said all these things. Yeah. What has happened to that? All of a sudden, Ed Galungu has become clean. Ed Galungu has become corrupt, corrupt free. Yeah. And he's there to forgive me. This is, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, really. Some of these things. It's the same like those people are saying, no, no, no. <laughs> you should ask Ed, President Ed Galungu to, to, to you, should, you, should for, you should ask for forgiveness from President Ed Galungu. What am I asking President Ed Galungu to forgive me for? What, have I, what did I do? Just because he has got powers, then I should just start kneeling and uh, saying, sorry, sorry, for things that I've not done for him. No. Me, when I say sorry, it means I've meant it. 
it means I know that I'm wrong. When I'm not wrong, I can't say I can't say sorry. If anything, it's President Ted Galungu should say sorry for me for speaking out. I spoke out and he put me in the cells. It's him to say sorry. And okay, fine, even if even if I was wrong. He was not supposed to put me in jail for, 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 for eight days. He was supposed to take me to court. That is bad. That is bad governance. So don't ask me, my PF Kada, to say, no, I, I should ask for President Ted Galungo's forgiveness. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. If it is to go to jail, let me go to jail. I'm ready to save. Even 10 years, I can go and save it. Don't tell me about my family, whatever, whatever. God will look after them. You yourselves, you look after my children. You look after my children when I'll be in prison because of Ed Galungu. But God is there. God is there. God is watching what is going on. God is there. He's seeing what is going on. Bakambu has gone back to power, has gone back to PF, and he has the audacity to say, No, I forgive Tad. ZNBC even covering it. And for ZNBC. <laughs> One thing that you should know about PF, ZNBC. Most of the journalists there, they are my friends. I know them. They are my friends. And they are complaining. Even today, I was talking to some of them. They are complaining. Especially those casual workers that you have been keeping for a long time. Dora Siria was there, keeping them on, on, on casual basis, paying them whenever you want. They are not happy. They are waiting. They are waiting for change. Those who are writing stories, those who are carrying cameras, don't be fooled. Those who are carrying cameras, taking pictures of President Edgar Lungu, they are not happy. And in Demi Wakofe Vifishinka, they are not happy. You have messed up ZNBC, and yet it is your number one propaganda channel. And yet you don't want to look after the people. You are going out dishing out at empowerment 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 dishing out and yet the journalists who are covering who are covering you they are living a miserable life you are going out eh hey, no shan shan but joseph malange but joseph malange even has the audacity to call himself at bonanza i saw him today boasting that he has got more money than hh you have more money than hh where did you get the money where did you get the money by malange and these are the people that President Ed Galung is keeping. Good people in PF Nganyama adoptions, a lot of good people have been left out. A lot of good people they have been left out. They have picked corrupt people. They, these are the people that they have, keep, they, have, they have retained. A number of them, not all of them, but a number of them corrupt people. Good people have been taken away. Look at uh, this young man, Vincent Mwale. A very good young man. Eh? Corrupt, free, very reasonable. They left him. How could you leave Vincent Mwari, for example? Eh? JJ, JJ, some of you think that JJ is a criminal. JJ is not a criminal. JJ is not a criminal. He has just been messed up by, by Dora. But JJ is not a criminal. But she was, he was left in preference for Dora. Eh? Kuriwa Malanji, the, the, the young people couldn't even contest. They just saw my chopper. They all ran away. Eh? Where is he getting the money by Malanji? Where? Where is he getting the, the money? Where is boasting that his bonanza he has got more money than HH? Where are you getting the money? Eh? But this, I'm not surprised. This is part of PF. This is part of President Ed Galungu's government. And these are facts. You may not like it. You may not like it, but these are facts. But Joseph Malangi has failed to substantiate. He failed to substantiate how he bought the first chopper. And he bought another chopper. He can't substantiate. He can't really tell us. He can't really tell us. And if I want to really to talk, to be careless, I would actually link these issues to, to President Ed Galungu. But uh, please, if you think that uh, I am bitter with President Ed Galungu, just know that I go as far as if I was bitter, I would go all the way. But I only go as far as I only go as far as because I, res 
I have one thing. I appreciate people who help me. At one point, our president Ted Galungu helped me. So, in Bemba, we say, Ichua chukwishive tachikuria achiku puishishisha. Ichua chukwishive tachikuria achiku puishishisha. Ba Ed Galungu nariwe shiva. So, te timbari emba puishishisha yo. Kuba shamu. But, ukutuleya. Ukutuleya. I'm in court. If I will be put on the stand, I'm looking forward to that day. I'm looking forward to that day when I will be put on the stand to defend myself. I'm looking forward to that. If it goes to that extent, then you will see because then I have no choice. I have to defend myself. I have to defend myself. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we all have to look after this country generously. And we shouldn't take the Zambian people for granted. Bakambiri should not take the Zambian people for granted. He has gone back to PF. Let him, you know, Fidawale, but you know, at have you seen, they have even changed. Eh? Bakambiri used to say that, have you seen how some of these people have changed? Did you see them when they were out of government? Did you see, before, when they came into government, did you see how they were looking? Eh? Atibale monika kwa atibale wele wa marasmas. Eh? Today I was looking at Wakambwiri. The way Wakambwiri was looking just a few weeks ago and today he looked much fresher, much younger, very smart. And I was saying this is how good it is to be to belong to PF. Mamdala wa GBM wali ande no kula that nari onda na ninji na no kuina. You know, but with all these things, whilst we are doing all this, we should be thinking about the people out there. What about the people out there, the majority out there? Are they looking like us? Are they enjoying like us? In other Timumbe Pesheko, that's a goodness. For me, as much as you people call me Mushaninawadi, the PF cannot say we bankrolled Tayari this. You only gave me a piece of bread to live the next day, that's all. You only gave me a piece of bread to live the next day. I know some of you used to be very scared that no, if we shot tired this, or you wanted to keep me always coming to you, coming to you. But I thank God for that. I thank God for that. So anyway, that is about uh, about Bakambuid. Let me move to another issue. Let me go to the to the next issue. The other issue is the issue of eligibility. There was news that was going around, which was even covered by ZNBC, that John Sangwa uh, has withdrawn the both cases of uh, eligibility and uh, the running mate. I want to tell you, I want to tell you, on a firm ground, that those cases are still in court. Those cases are still in court. But you see, yesterday I was telling you about the propaganda of the PF. The superficial propaganda of the PF. This is, the, this is, this is, this is exactly what it is. You start telling people that no, John Sangwa has withdrawn. And you spread you, you you spread the news everywhere. He has withdrawn. He has withdrawn. And yet the case is in court. And yet the case is in court. It is still in court. I don't want to go into the details of this and that. Uh -uh. The fact is, those two cases, the case of eligibility, the case of the running mate, they are still very much in court. So don't follow what is the propaganda that is going on. Don't follow that. Get it from the source. And I'm told the case is coming up after tomorrow. On Wednesday, the case is coming up. The case will be in court. So don't be misled. President Edgar Lungu's eligibility still hangs in a balance. It still hangs in a balance. It is a 50-50 situation. The court might say yes is legible. The court might also say no is not legible. 
it is a 50-50 situation. And President Edgar Lungu knows. President Edgar Lungu, together with the people around him, they know that this issue hangs in a balance. Hangs in a balance. And we wait to see how the judiciary will rule on this one. I am really waiting to see how the judiciary will rule on this one. President Edgar Lung was elected in the last constitution and he won by 47%, not by 51%, which is in the current constitution. He won by 47% first past the post because at that time, that is what the constitution uh, uh, meant, uh, prescribed. And at that time, the constitution did not talk about three years, did not talk about the term. They just spoke about being elected twice. Once you are elected, whether you are in office for an hour, that is it. That is it. Whether one hour or so, one hour and you say, no, 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 I've resigned. Once you resign like that, it is still counts as a term. You can't come back and say, no. I resigned after one hour. No, you were elected and you were sworn. That's it. That is the constitution that brought President Edgar Lungu in power. And on this one, my brothers and sisters, including Mweba PF, you should open your minds. I know people like my brother, Dr. Cosmo Mumba, who will not be able to listen to this. Because they are operating at that level, at that level where I also operated at one, the level of survival, the level of survival, you know, when you are operating at the level of survival, I mean, you don't reason, you just want to survive. So my brother, uh, Cosmo Mumba, who I love very much, who I love very much, is operating at that level of survival. So he can issue statements against me. I don't, and I don't mind. I don't mind. And I will not disrespect Cosmo Mumbo. That one is, there is a good friend of mine. Eh? He's a very good friend of mine. Together, Navena Peter Chanda. Peter Chanda is a very good friend of mine. You know, I worked with them at that position of survival. At that position of survival. So I do understand them. And a number of PF who are trying to, who are operating at the level of survival, who will not want to listen to this. But these are facts. These are facts as they are. And this is what is in court. You cannot be applying the 2016 clauses to President Edgar Lungu's first term. You can't. You have to apply to what was there. What was in the contract, and what was in the contract was in the constitution, the old constitution, that was in the contract. The terms and conditions that apply to President Edgar Lungu, at that point, it's those which were in the old constitution. That is, that is what applies. And I wait to see how the judges will respond to this. I am praying that our judges will not be looking at survival. I'm praying that our judges will look at this case on merit and pronounce a judgment that will stand the test of time, a judgment that will be read worldwide. Because judges' judgments that are done in court, in our courts here, don't just end here. They are quoted elsewhere. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. I really wish, you know, Irene Mambirima, Judge Irene Mambirima, was part of the bench because uh, I, 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 I love that woman. I trust that woman. She's very, very solid. But anyway, I am I'm looking forward to the outcome of this. So please, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the propaganda that is going on that no john sang was withdrawn i saw some of you were even thinking no he has been paid no john sang state council is not a person that you can buy that at least you are sure of 
I know no one has no stresses. I know even what John Sangwa has his own stresses, but his stress levels are not at, at our level. Like me, I'm a Cosmo Mumbo. If I'm a stress levels, yes, we have a punch. We worry about Amalite, Shani, eh, Chisense, whatever, whatever, but not John Sangwa. So I'm very confident that he, uh, he's not going to compromise uh, on this one. I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite sure, and I'm hoping that indeed our judges will do justice in this instance. Will do justice in this instance. But for my brothers and sisters in PF, especially the senior members, there is nothing wrong in trying to start discussing amongst yourselves what would happen if President Ed Galung is declared ineligible. There is nothing wrong. Because I've seen that you are so scared. You are so scared. Even before, because some of you are used to tell you about this. But you wouldn't dare go into that. Even in the secrets of, your, of, our, of, our, of our meetings, you wouldn't dare. You wouldn't want to, to hear anything about this. You wouldn't want. You wouldn't want. But I'm encouraging you. Start thinking about this. Eh? Sata worked very hard to bring PF into government. He worked very hard. He made serious sacrifices to bring PF into power. Don't allow one man, the selfishness of one man, take PF down. Don't. PF belongs to a lot of people. Even me, I contributed to PF in one way or the other. I did. So don't allow one man to let PF go down. Because if you are not careful, it will be too late for you to come back. And you might lose it. Already things are not okay on the ground. Already things are not okay. Even if President Edgar Lungu is going to retain power. Don't fool yourself. I am just telling you that one woman I met who actually escorted President Edgar Lungu is saying things are not okay. A number of people are not just talking. And I know even more than ever PF. How many of you have I spoken for? How many? How many of you have I spoken for? Because you complain. Because you feel things are not okay. But PF, staunch PF members. A number of you. Some of you. Some of you. Tayari mperako 300 kwacha. Tayari mperako 500 kwacha. So, get real on this issue. Get real. Don't think that I'm just talking out of bitterness. Get real on this issue. This is a pertinent issue and it could go either ways. It could go either ways. So, think about it. So, anyway, that is about that. The issue is still, is still in court. And I was hoping that uh, some media houses would uh, would would ask the court to cover to cover the proceedings live. It would be very nice to cover the proceedings live, so that we see we hear the arguments for ourselves. This issue of journalists coming out writing their own stories in their past, according to their journalists to their to their editorial policies. Sometimes it doesn't help. But when you hear the, the proceedings for yourselves, it can actually help. Can, can we look into the possibility of having this case? This is a high profile case. Can we look at the possibilities of having the proceedings broadcasted live so that we hear the arguments? We follow everything. Media houses, media gurus, Eh? Can we see, can you try to do something about this so that we can have them uh, live? I don't know what, what can be done, but can, can we have it? There is COVID, we cannot all go in court. Let me get a charger.
So yes, I was just uh, saying that, I mean, let's look at the possibility of having the cases, uh, this pro the proceedings of this case uh, beamed live. I mean, we cannot have all media houses in there, but we can have a few media houses covering, covering these proceedings. So that we see, at the end of the day, we want to see, me, um, I don't mind. If President Edgar Lungu be declared legible, I don't have a problem. If President Edgar Lungu be declared, uh, who say not legible, I don't have a problem. My issue at the moment is just me becoming mayor. That's my issue. That is my issue. Whether I've got no, I've got no interest. We either ways, whether he continues fair and square. That's that, 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 so be it. Whether I, I've got no interest, I've got no interest whatsoever. But uh, when I look at things, <laughs> maybe it might even be good if he's disqualified. Because somehow bringing in a new person might change a little bit of things for, for the PF. The way I see it from, the, from, what I'm, from what I'm seeing around, it might even be better to have a different person than President Ed Galungu. At least somehow people can, they can restore some hope to say, ah, maybe this one will change things. But President Ed Galungu, I mean, people are feeling, you know, things are bad as they are especially the basics because you see politics is about giving people the basics now the basics are so bad you can talk about the roads you can talk about the infrastructure but when the basics are not okay you have to know that politically you're not doing well the empowerment that he went around did not go around to everyone it just went to a few people a lot of people are still suffering Prices have gone too high. Prices of commodities have gone too high. Cooking oil is how much today? Eh? Sugar is how much today? Millimil, how much is millimil? Eh? Then even kapenta, kapenta which we look at to be cheap, is expensive. And you want to say you are going, you have got overwhelming support? Katwish. So maybe you might just take a chance of this uh, eligibility issue and uh, you know change things for yourselves as PF. Anyway, that is your that is that is your issue. My issue is can we have some media houses covering the proceedings live? Please let's look at this. Justice must not only be done, justice must be seen to be done. So can we try to get live coverages on, of these, these, these uh, uh, proceedings? Moving on, I heard Mamdalawa Davis uh, Mwila announcing that President Edgar Lungu will be launching his campaign uh, on Wednesday at Mulungush. I find that odd. I don't know. Lawyers would, would, would guide me, but I find it odd and I find it that it might be an abuse of office because, you know, President Edgar Lungu is petitioned. He has been petitioned. And since he has been petitioned, I think he needs to wait until the court determines whether he's legible or not. I think that that's, that's, my, that's my honest view. So going to start launching a campaign when you are petitioned, I think he, that is not in order. And if anything, you could be cited for, for contempt. I don't know. But I really don't think that that is right. I think you're supposed to wait until the, the court uh, uh, disposes of um, the, 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 the matter. I think that is, in my view, that's what I think. You know? But uh, I don't think President Edgar Lungu wants to hear anything of that sort. But you know, good governance and good leadership sometimes you need to act graciously sometimes you need to act graciously because sometimes when you also show this kind of you know desperation you no know, at all cost at all cost it puts off people it puts off for people frankly speaking for me it, it has pushed put, put me off even before i was 
I will send Mujel. I saw that desperation. And that is what made me differ with some of my friends. That desperation is what made me differ with some of my friends. Being made, me being arrested is not about what I said. Some people, you know, think, no, no, it's because of what you said. No, it's not about what I said. It is about what was going on in the background. We were negotiating. I was trying to negotiate how, what I was going to do in this election. And things didn't go as planned. And I thought of going, you know, engaging my plan B. And that plan B, my friends didn't think would be good for, for them. That's how they came up with, the, with that. Of course, picking on something to say, I have defamed the president. We will go to court. We will see. We will talk about that. We will go to court. Me, I'm ready to go to court. On this one, I'm ready to go to court. I'm ready to stand in court. I'm ready. If I will be jailed, so be it. But at least I will stand in that court and give a testimony. I am ready for that. I will stand in that court and give my testimony. And that testimony I will give, Zambia will forever remember that yes, at one point there was this case which was which was brought in court and tiredly testified that day i will testify i'm waiting for that day let the case con let the case continue let the case continue otherwise forget it Matt. no shan -shan apologize no i'm not doing it i am not doing it Kaleza. i'm ready to save even 10 years i'm ready to save but i am waiting for for my opportunity to speak here i'm not talking here i'm holding back i'm reserving myself i'm reserving myself like i said but when it reaches you know uh, to levels where you can't hold back anymore you just have to give it as it is so I'm waiting for that for that time. But otherwise, uh, from my point of view, I don't think it is it is good uh, for President Edgar Lungu to start launching his campaign because he's petitioned. Doing so will be somehow pressurizing the judges to rule in his favor uh, because they will be looking to say, "Ah, this person is already is already campaigning, is already doing this. Now we declare him ineligible," you know. I mean, I'm a judges now in a one two fee. One two fee. So that's why we should be praying for them. I am not saying they should declare him ineligible. No, I'm just saying we should pray for them that they do the right thing. They do the right thing according to the law. According to the law. MQI. Those are my reflections for this evening. I will end here for now. Good night. Please remember to support me. Remember to support me as mayor. I want to be mayor so that I can be independent. I want to be mayor so that I can change Lusaka. Lusaka will never be the same after Chirifatayali enters into civic center. For once, you will know how much money the council makes. For once, you will know where the council takes the money. For once, you will know what properties the council uh, has. Ah, and I will not tolerate, you know, these cadres harassing people in markets, harassing people in bus stations. I will not tolerate that. I will make sure that people enjoy their freedom to jump on a bus of their choice, to go into a market dressed according to the way they want, not fearing to be harassed. Cadres are even taxing those guys who are pushing wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows. Today, those guys who are pushing wheelbarrows, they were telling me in town, at Vatayari, how much is it? It's not a the market, mustache, muja, kuti utenge muntu. You must give something to, to, to cadres. How do you tax those guys carrying those ma, uh, wheelbarrows? Hard job it is. Very difficult to push those wheelbarrows. 
and they pay very little, very little money. They are paid very little. Some of those boys, they push those heavy loads. And at the end of the day, the person is given 30 kwacha. Of that 30 kwacha, a kada wants 10 kwacha. Honestly, what kind of life is that? This is, this is unacceptable. I want to come and stop that. I want to come and stop that. Women carrying, you know, a groundnuts on the head. 50 kwacha. And the council comes, grabs everything. We don't want that. We don't want that. We need to respect human beings. Yes, vending, you know, in a disorderly is not right. But we can find a way. There are no jobs. So we have to find a way of keeping these vendors, how they can trade and at least retain sanity. Eh? We have to, I'm, I'm really up, up, up for this. I am really going to fight. Whichever political party that will be there, whether UPND, whether PF, I'm, I'm going to fight to make sure that we retain sanity in Lusaka. I will fight. Development. We need to, councils are supposed to be building houses. Councils are supposed to be building parks, recreation centers. Nothing. Councils are not doing that. Nothing. All they are relying on is collecting Utumal land rates from properties. That's all. There is no initiative on how to make money, on how to change the city, on how to keep people, you know, the lives of the people, the social welfare of people, how they can liven it. Nothing. If you look at the construction that are going on in, in Lusaka, same, same, Nganyama shops uh, at Moz. Look at the Moz. The same moors, same, same, same. And these moors, I mean, they are like temporal, temporal moors. We need to change. We need to encourage these investors, real investment, where people will come and build something that people can watch to say, yeah, this is a nice building. Not same, same, same card box kind of building. That is not right. That is not development. We need real development. Hmm? We have been talking about uh, these drainages and the flooding for years and years. I don't understand why people are being given plots in areas where it is flooding. We need to look at all these things. I know I cannot finish everything. I cannot whatever, but I want to come and set up, you know, something that will be in motion that even the person that will come later on, they will be able to do something. So please, regardless of which political party you belong, or whatever you think about me, you may think about me as a joker, as anything, but be rest assured that as mayor, I will work. I will work. At Vakapola, at police is watching. Yes, let the police watch and vote for me. I'm glad that the police are watching. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. You should vote for me. Even if I'm to my come with Katen. Eh? If you arrest me tomorrow, you put me in my cells. Make sure that they are voting. I'll be in my cells. Even when you go and vote for me. I don't mind. I can be a mayor in Dimukati, but you vote for me. You have to vote for me. That's for sure. All civil servants in Lusaka. Mulibengisa na Murusaka. If all the civil servants vote for me. I'm sure I'll carry the day. I don't have the money to campaign. I don't have the money to go and give, you know, the people in the compounds. So I'm relying on you, reasonable people, to vote for me. Don't hesitate. Make sure on that day of voting, go and vote. Go and vote and vote for Chirifatayali as mayor. Thank you very much. Good night. You know, I'm a married man. I need to go back to my wife.